a reading from the book of Proverbs. Like a stream is the king's heart in the hand of the Lord. Wherever it pleases him, he directs it. All the ways of a man may be right in his own eyes, but if it is the Lord who proves hearts. To do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the tillage of the wicked is sin. The plans of the diligent are sure of profit, but all rash haste leads certainly to poverty. Whoever makes a fortune by a lying tongue is chasing a bubble over deadly snares. The soul of the wicked man desires evil. His neighbor finds no pity in his eyes. When the arrogant man is punished, the simple are the wiser. There is one who brings down the wicked to ruin. He who shuts his eyes to the cry of the poor will himself also call and not be heard. The word of the Lord. Amen. Responsorial Psalm. Guide me, Lord, in the ways of your commands. Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walks in the law of the land. Guide me, Lord, in your ways and commands. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will mediate on your wondrous deeds. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinance before me. Guide me, Lord, in your commands. Give me discernment that I may dis observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Lead me in the path of your commands, for in it I delight. Guide me, Lord, in your commands. And I will keep your law continually forever and ever. Guide me, Lord, in your ways of your commands. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The mother of Jesus and his brothers came to him, but were unable to join him because of the crowd. He was told, your mother and your brothers are standing outside and they wish to see you. He said to them in reply, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. The Gospel of the Lord. We're all familiar, I think, with the whole um, analogy of the potter and the clay. God is the potter. We are supposed to be the clay allowing God to mold us into the person he wants us to be, into the way he wants us to be shaped and molded, to go. So we're all familiar with that, and so we're so familiar with it, I think, that it just sounds very nice. <laughs> it doesn't really make an impact on us, perhaps. So we have a, another image in our first reading today from Proverbs. And I think this is also very beautiful. Like a stream is the king's heart in the hand of the Lord. Like a stream is the king's heart in the hand of the Lord. Wherever it pleases him, he directs it. He directs the, script, the stream in his hands. I think that's also quite beautiful. This is about a king who was going his own way, but finally came to his senses and placed himself into the hands of God and allowed God to direct him and to direct his kingdom the way God wanted it to go. So we, maybe today we could just take some time and think about this image, that we are the stream of water, the rushing water. 
Are we allowing that stream to go into the nail-scarred hands of Jesus? Are we allowing that stream to flow freely into the hands of Jesus and let Jesus direct the stream wherever he wants it, wherever he wants it to go? Or are we just rushing like a, a raging river going our own way, no matter what, wiping everything else out of our way, it doesn't matter, just like a flood. We're going our own way. Or are we like the stream that flows through the hands of Jesus, allowing him to move that stream wherever he wants it to go? <laughs>